getting armrests. Got a belt there. Uh, it's just a lap belt, I think. Yeah, lap belt. And uh, two three pointers and a lap belt in the back. So you're nice and clean back here. Headrests come out, uh, bed folds flat, you simply pull that lever and it and it and it folds down, okay? Uh, steps decent along the side. Tires a bit soft. I'll get some air in that. It's just uh, just as I've been sitting. And these are centre cap as well. You could probably pick one of those up. Tailgate, which is pretty neat. Uh, again, German plate, German German markings, uh, which I quite like. Uh, West Valley tow bar, working electric, all good. Spare wheels under there too. Tailgate, wee bit of rust at the bottom. Pretty common, I'm told, on uh, on tailgate vans. Got a mate that's been through about three of them. Uh, loads of space under there. All your camping gear. There's cubbies in here with a jack and spare plates and things. Uh, that's your curtains, pop-on curtains, so they're really good. Uh, there's, there's fixings all the way around for the curtains. The curtains are really good shape. Uh, I'm sure they've got like... Should still got stickers on them and stuff inside. Telling you, yeah, where they go. Uh, and that kind of jazz, okay, so curtains. Really nice, and the good thing about them is they're not on the van all the time, which again, quite like. Uh, down this side, again, pretty clean. Uh, the only bit on this side is probably the seam there. Can you see that? But I'd say that's probably the worst bit in the van, actually. But again, it's 25 years old, it's not getting any worse, in my own The cells are really strong. Uh, if we go around the front at that side, I think there's a blister perhaps in the same place as the other side. Yeah, there is. Just there, okay. So that's that's pretty much the bodywork covered off. Um, engine. Two point four non turbo diesel. It's all pretty clean in here. Pretty dry. Uh, it doesn't use oil, doesn't use water. Sometimes the water light pulses on the dash pretty common, it's to do with the level, the coolant level is pretty, it's one of these kind of temperamental things which I think golfs are the same generation are the same. You'll see the sticker for the new engine there, I'll show you the receipt for that in a second. Uh, battery, it's really strong, starts every time, that's that hole I was telling you about, you can probably see my hand, if I put my hand through here, it's dead easy to reach if you're plating that, and it's never been a, an MOT concern. Go back to the paperwork. Talked most of this through last night. So, book pack, one to do with the uh, heater, one to do with the kill box, all the usual stuff. That's that's the receipt for the engine. I spoke over last night, so you'll see the names on the on the, the rocker cover, and there's a stamp. Uh, so it's all all there. Dates and mileage, as we said, mileage and kilometers. It's done. 263,000 kilometres currently, so uh, about 120,000 since, in fact, under 120 since since that was changed. V5 in my name, um, MOT, no advisories, all the old MOTs, which is quite nice to see. Go back to uh, it's 2011, 2010. Receipts for bits and bobs including uh, belts, back brakes were done on that one. We spoke about the cam belt, we spoke about the water pump, uh, CV boot, various uh, various bits and pieces, exhaust centre pipe, gives the cam belt the seat there, cam belt, uh, the date, and the mileage, again the kilometres. Alright, hope that helps you out. Um, let me know your thoughts and get back to me. Cheers man.